Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So this morning, um, I'll be talking to you about um, the reason why we need to give thanks unto God Almighty. Um, I, I titled this exhortation as a call to thanksgiving. A call to thanksgiving. Praise the Lord. You know, as, um, as we might, in as much as we think that, oh, thanksgiving is just a normal thing. Um, it's just one of those things. But at the same time, it's a very difficult thing. And why did I say that? Because, you know, in our lives, we go through issues every day of our lives. Bless the Lord. But at the same time, you know, our trials may be tough. You know, they might be very difficult once in a while. And we may not feel that, yes, we need to thank God. Why? Because we just felt, oh, we are not in just in the mood because we are going through some bad patches, praise the Lord. But that is fine the way it is, you know. But why did I say that is fine? It's just because the Lord God Almighty knows that, yes, we'll go through all those difficult patches. But the fact remains that when you look back into all the things the Lord God Almighty has done for you, then you want to appreciate God the more for who you are, for where you are at this time. Things might not be as um, rosy as you think it should be. Probably at the beginning of this year, you set some targets for yourselves. And um, you thought, oh, this is the fifth month of the year. And uh, you've not achieved even half of that. And you're thinking that, do I have any reason to even thank God at all? Praise the Lord. But I'm here to tell you this morning that there are reasons to thank the Lord God Almighty. And how can you do that? You know, the only way you can come to that level is um, when you have a heart of gratitude. And a heart of the gratitude is just about reflecting on the past. You look at where you were before and where you are at this time. And you want to say, Lord, yes, I thank you. Praise the Lord. And that is the reason why we'll be thanking God this morning. Um, Apostle Paul gave an instruction in 1 Thessalonians 5.16. Um, I'll just read that passage to us just to encourage someone in the house this morning. And he said, 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 18, he said, Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus. Praise the Lord. And he went on further to say that in 23, he said, May God himself, the God of peace, sanctify you through and through. May your whole spirit, soul, and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. And 24 says that the one who calls you is faithful and he will do it. Praise the Lord. So that's the word of encouragement to us this morning. He said the one that has called you is what? Is faithful. So irrespective of the things that you might be going through, you can be rest assured that the Lord God Almighty that has called you and he has called you to do what? He has called you to this faith of it as being a Christian, to being a child of God. Praise the Lord. And he said, he will surely do it. So whatever you might be thinking about, that you're thinking, oh, I've not been able to achieve it this year. And then we're coming to the middle of a year. Nothing has happened. I'm here to show you this morning that the Lord God Almighty that we serve, he will surely do it. Because he's a faithful God. So, this morning, we'll reflect on just five reasons why we think we should give thanks unto God. And then... Um, it's not about even this season alone, but every day of our lives, we need to give thanks unto God Almighty. And one of the reasons is, number one, for his unfailing love. Praise the Lord. The Lord God Almighty loves us so much, even beyond our imagination. In Psalm 107, verse 1, it says, Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endure forever. Praise the Lord. That's the kind of love the Lord God Almighty has for us. His love over us endures forever. He is a merciful God. And he said he will have mercy on whom will have mercy and show compassion on whoever wants to show compassion on. But for the fact that we are here this morning, it shows that we are his candidate of his mercy. Praise the Lord. You know, things happened in the course of a week. And then we had a story of a young boy, about 14 year old boy, that was stabbed to death by... Um, Someone with mental health issues. Praise the Lord. I, I, I pray for the repose of his soul and um, the Lord God Almighty will keep that family. Because I know at this time, they will be wondering in their heart. Do they even have any reason to thank God at all? For all the things that they have invested in that boy, 
Even at the age of 14, they have invested so much. I think they said it, it, it goes to about 24,000 pounds um, tuition fee school. You know, praise the Lord. And he's a 14-year-old boy. So you can imagine how much has been invested into him before he even passed on. We pray that the Lord God Almighty will keep that family strong in the name of Jesus Christ. So these are the things that happen. It's not because the boy is, you know, we, we just take a lot of things for granted. Our children go to school. They come back safely. And we just, we're just happy with that. We just say, oh, Lord, we thank you. But you can imagine what that parent, those parents will be going through right now. So the love of God Almighty, his love over us is, is so wonderful. It's so wonderful. And that's one of the reasons why we need to thank him. Number two, it says, for his wonderful deeds. Psalm 107, verse 8, 9, and 16 talks about the, the, the faithfulness of God Almighty. And um, the goodness of God, the things that he has done in our lives. I'll just read a passage to us now. Okay. Yeah, Psalm 107, I'll read 8. It says, Let them give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for mankind. And um, number 9 says, For he satisfies the thirst and fills the hungry with good things. Has the Lord filled your thirst this year? Has he filled, has he, has he filled your hunger with good things? And in 16, in 16 it says, For he breaks down gates of bronze, and cut down bars of iron. The Lord God Almighty has been faithful unto us, you know. He, 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 has, he has set us free from so many captives. Praise the Lord. So that's one of the reasons why we need to bless the name of God Almighty this morning. And number three, for his provisions and care. Philippians 4 verse 19 says, And my God will meet, you, will meet your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. Praise the Lord. The Lord God Almighty that we serve make provisions for everything that we need. Whatever we need in life, you know, he gave us this opportunity. You, you wake up every morning, you go to work. It is just by the grace of God. And you come back safely home. Your children go to school. They study hard. They come back home. You know, some of them sit for exams. They excel. They shine. You know, these are things that we need to, be glo need to glorify the name of God Almighty for. You know, and uh, it is just by his provisions because it's the Lord God Almighty that has made provisions for all of these things to make, to make it possible. And number four, it says, for his salvation and grace. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 15, that thanks be to God for this indescribable gift. No, no, gift, no gift surpasses the, the gift of salvation. You know, the gift of salvation, all the things that the Lord God Almighty went through for us, he went on the cross to die for our sins. You know, he take all those lashes so that we'll be able to live. And not only to live, but to live in abundance, to live in the glory of God Almighty. And that is why, you know, you might be going through some issues. The Lord God Almighty says he's always there with you. Because he has already paid the price. Whatever you're going through now, it's, it's going to be faces. And at some point, you move on from there and you achieve whatever aims that, and, and desires that you actually want. So that is one of also the reasons why we should serve the Lord and also give him thanks. And um, we, remember, we, 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 we remember how God Almighty made provisions even for Elijah. You know, even in the land of drought, the Lord God Almighty provided for him, you know. And then he also, after that, he even proceeded to Zarephath to meet the widow. And what happens? The widow provided for, for Elijah. Praise the Lord. So our God that we serve is a God of provisions and he cares for us. And finally, he says that for his presence and guidance. In Psalm verse 32, chapter 32, verse 8, he says, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my loving eyes on you. You see, the Lord God Almighty cares so much for us. He said he will guide us. He's not going to leave us. He's not going to leave us in all those situations that we are in. The Lord God Almighty will guide us. He will help us. He says he will give us advices on how to do things and how to move forward in life. So that is the God that we serve. And that's one of the reasons why I think we need to praise, to praise him and to thank him for his faithfulness. So 
if you have all these things, you know, cultivating a thankful heart is a beautiful practice that can en enrich your life. When you have a grateful heart, you know, you are happy within yourself and it enriches your life. But, and how can you develop this art of gratitude? I'll just run through that. Number one, you need to recognize the source of your blessings. You need to acknowledge that every good thing in your life is a gift from God Almighty. It's the Lord that makes those provisions for you. You wake up in the morning, you, you have, you know, you, it's just by the mercy of God Almighty. So many people, they went to bed yesterday, they are not awake today. You are here, you know, elegantly dressed, you know, thanking God that the Lord God Almighty has been faithful unto you and unto your family. So you need to appreciate that, yes, the source of those blessings is actually from God Almighty. And number two, you need to practice a daily gratitude. You know, take each time to reflect on things that are thankful to God. You know, just take, if you look back, if you, if you look back, if you, you, you need to, you, you, you need to make, you, you need to look back into your life and say that, yes, the Lord God Almighty has actually been faithful. You are not what you had today, 10 years ago, you know, so it's a face, it's a progress. But if you do not look back at the things the Lord God Almighty has done in your life, it's definitely going to be very difficult for you to have a thankful heart. So we need to express our gratitude also to others. Don't keep your gratitude to yourself. Share it with others. Thank someone who has made a difference in your life. You know, the Lord God Almighty will not come down on its own to bless us. He will use one person or the other. So be thankful for all those people that have blessed you along the way in your journey in life so that the Lord God Almighty will even bless you more. And also, look for good in every situation. Whatever you might be going through, you know, there will always be something good in it. Look at those things that are good. Have a positive mind. You know, it's all about positivity. That you, 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 we all have challenges in life. But at the same time, when you look at all these things, you know that, yes, the Lord God Almighty has been faithful unto you. And, um, and, and all of those challenges, the Lord God Almighty will make a way for you. And um, you have a reason to thank the Lord because you have a grateful heart. And finally, you want to say, Lord, you practice contentment. Be contented with whatever you have. It's, 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 it's not a battle, you, you, you know, you, you, you know you, you're not in a battle with someone. You know, it is, it's a race that you have to, ra to run on your own. Praise the Lord. So learn to content with what you have. You know, contentment is a key component of a grateful heart. If you want to have a grateful heart, because if you are not contented with what you have, you're not going to be grateful because you're looking at things that you don't have. You're not looking at the things that you have. And definitely you will not, you not be thankful to God because of that. So, this morning I will encourage us as children of God that even as we, as we give thanks this morning, today let us, let, let gratitude fill our hearts so that we'll be able to thank God greatly this evening, so, uh, this afternoon, because the Lord God Almighty has been good unto us. And for in giving thanks, we acknowledge the blessings of the past and also open our hearts to receive the grace for the future. Praise the Lord. The Lord God Almighty will honor us this day and he will accept our thanksgiving in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. All, of, all our desires, even as we look unto God Almighty this year, the Lord will give unto us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I wish all of you happy thanksgiving. Praise the Lord. Praise the 